What's up guys, it's your boy Darskin, and today we're going to be checking out apparently this video that dropped going over some of the stuff that we're going to be getting soon. Um, now I already saw a picture on Twitter so I kind of know a little bit, but we're going to go ahead and watch this so we can see, you know, everything that they said or whatever the case may be. So let's go ahead and get into it. Alright, I have no idea what this is. Greetings knights and welcome. To the seven deadly sins grand cross. Who mans? Who mans? This is the Borhat headlines. The half year celebration is in full swing, and let me tell you, the rewards are flowing. Be sure to stay tuned for all the exciting events going on during the celebration. Okay. It feels like it was just yesterday that the Seven Deadly Sins Grand Cross was launched on a global scale, and we could not be more excited. Looking back, we saved the kingdom, had lots of laughs, met a ton of heroes, and have really got to know Meliodas and the gang. Bro, we are so, not here for this. Everyone, we'd like to thank you for joining us on this epic journey. Most of all, we look forward to sharing more adventures and stories from across Britannia. So, don't turn that dial. The celebration is just getting started. Next up, he slices, he dices, he splits himself into multiple copies using a sacred weapon. The one and only... Uh, well, we've already seen... We already have him. Lost Bane Meliodas. Whoa, is this guy sure powerful? The challenge is leading we up... We already have that. Up. Hell mode boss battles okay, are so available across the kingdom. So, upgrade your equipment and put on the best... Now available? Closet because these battles... They're not, though. Are they? Support. What? Am I tripping? Which demon battle is your favorite and why? Be sure to tell us in the comments to take on the Purin Vu Conquest. The rewards will be worth the chance. Am I tripping? So be sure to work towards that high score. I, I have my I have my game open already. So we're we'll see. Up to four players can participate in this challenge. And remember, the more I'm assuming this would be after reset or maintenance. Okay, now this, right? Six new characters coming. Uh, we're gonna talk about this right after the video, but these three up here are like the New Year's characters and these three characters down here are were the um, Valentine's characters, which uh, I mean, I guess they're just coming now. So we still have plenty yeah. of surprises on the way. So be sure to stay tuned if you want to discover the six new heroes that are making their way to Britannia in week three of this amazing celebration. Who are these mysterious heroes? Log in to find out. Next up, another traveler has joined us. Who? Who? <laughs> Chavis here All to right. share some events that will help you knights earn even more rewards. Hello there, fellow knights. I am very excited to join you here in the kingdom. Thank you for all your support. We couldn't have arrived here without your help. So now, without further ado, it's time to share the half anniversary secret box. This week's code is Assassin. Now, be sure to log in. There are more surprises waiting for those knights who can unlock all the codes throughout this momentous occasion. September 14th. Now, before I go... Wait, so that's in four days. So all of this is coming in four days. Okay, because they said they they said it as if it was like out now, right? Well, they literally said out now, right? Comment on this video in order to receive some extra special rewards in celebration of our half anniversary. Don't forget to leave okay. your... We look forward to having you with... And okay, so... Um, long story short, we're getting some new characters soon. And those new characters here, I'll, I'll go ahead and show you guys because I actually have them pulled up already. Um, we're getting Green Demon Meliodas, which, um, 180% attack to one enemy, prevents ultimate move gauge from filling for one turn. 270% to one enemy, prevents ultimate move gauge for one turn. And then 450 to one enemy, prevents ultimate move gauge for two turns. His second card is 135 AoE, then 150 AoE applies infect, and then 250 AoE applies infect for three turns. Same ultimate as all the Demon Meliodas, and then his um, passive. His passive is pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. During your turn, if an enemy dies with Meliodas dealing the final blow, fills the hero's ultimate move gauge orbs by the number of ultimate move gauge orbs the enemy had. Long story short, uh, let's say Blue King has five ult gauge and Meliodas kills him. Meliodas will get five ult gauge. It doesn't matter if Meliodas kills him with his ult or whatever. Meliodas can ult and one shot somebody. And if they have five ult gauge, he gets five ult gauge back. 
it's a super cool mechanic the character's not the character himself like what he does like skills are not amazing but like the passive is a cool a super cool mechanic uh going on to elizabeth uh right here inflicts damage equal to 130 um 130 percent of attack to all enemies heals hp of the lowest ally with for um 80 percent of damage dealt then at rank two it's 200 percent to all enemies heals all allies for 30 percent of the damage dealt then at rank three, 300% uh, damage to all ally all enemies, heals 40% to all allies of the damage dealt. So the first one single target 80%. Rank two is 30% AOE healing, and then 40% AOE healing. The single target one seems better, honestly. Like the 80% is just, I don't know. I feel like the, the rank one would just be the one, the go to, you know, unless you like everybody's super low. Anyways. Uh, removes debuffs, removes debuffs, and increases defense-related stats by 50%. Removes debuffs and increases defense-related stats um, by 50% for three turns. And it also gives debuff immunity. She's... These rank two? Bro, if you throw her in with the tank team, Valenti Gilta, oh my goodness. That team is going to be nasty. That'd be like a really wild cheese comp. Anyways, this is the same one as the other one. Green Elizabeth. Fills all gauge by two after you all blah blah blah. Passive increases all allies' recovery rate by 10% if an ally is healed by the hero, which is herself, but that's that's kind of booty. Anyways, that's whatever. Now, uh the third one is blue Jericho. Ex um inflicts explode damage equal to 200, 240, or 400 Explode is does hundred percent of the damage after a certain amount of turns. So it just reapplies the damage. So if you do 5,000 damage after two turns, it'll apply 5,000 damage again. Or one turn on these two. That's that. Second card, 180% damage to one enemy. Decreases HP-related stats by 15% for one turn. 180% decreases HP-related stats by 15% for two turns. And then 300% decreasing HP-related stats by 30% for two turns. Not, not that crazy. Um, same ultimate as green Jericho and then her passive increases crit chance of all allies by 5% if allies crit when using skills Limited five, uh, 10 times This Jericho is not crazy or anything like that. None of these units are crazy, but these were the New Year's units They were they are limited units. So uh, there it is now moving on to the Valentine's units you have Jenna um, 130 135% to, uh, AOE 150 AOE applies infect 250 AOE applies infect same card as Meliodas right here same card um, then cancel stances uh, 180 attack cancel stances 300 attack cancel stances 500 attack her ultimate applies uh, uh, inflicts break and 560 percent damage break is double damage to stanced enemies now the reason why she does this if you guys don't know she gives a buff that gives you increased like costume drops um on red demon not to mention she cancels stances on all three cards and she does double damage to stance you she's made for red demon if you guys don't know she's literally made for red demon going on to her passive this unit can only receive one debuff effect when this unit has a debuff increase the unit's attack by 20 percent she's literally made for red demon literally she's literally made for red demon so if you guys didn't know, now you know. She's literally made for Red Demon. She gives a buff uh, that gives you increased drops um, for the costume on Red Demon as well, or Red Demon Hell. But yeah, so there you go. Uh, Elaine, uh, Red Elaine. 240% attack to one enemy. 300% attack to one enemy fills ultimate gauge by one. 500% fills ultimate gauge by two. Second card decreases defense uh, related stats by 20% two turns, 30% two turns, and then 40% three turns same ultimate as greeny lane cancels buff stances for 90 percent stuns for one turn her passive increases status related buff effects by 1.5 times for all allies and deathmatch this elaine gives the buff in um gives the buff in crimson demon or not crimson demon gives the buff in um yeah crimson demon yeah she gives the buff in crimson demon for uh costume you know costume cosmetics whatever anyways the thing about her passive increases status related buff effects by 1.5 times the, the most of the buffers in the game are green right guilt thunder uh hellbrom then easton will be blue but she's not in the game yet 
Uh, Blue Elaine is blue, but she's not in the game yet. But the main booster when it comes to demon raids is Arthur, who is red. You're going to be taking him on your demon raids. So she is going to be bu buffing Arthur's, you know, buff card. So that's really, really good. And like I said, she gives the buff. So you can run her like in the fourth slot or whatever. Um, you don't have to, but you can. But yeah, that's that's Elaine. Now, um, the last one is Zaniri. Now, Zaniri, as you might have guessed, is made for Grey Demon. 180% uh, attack to one enemy, disables ultimate move gauge increase. 270, 450, all of these are disable ultimate move gauge. It's the same thing as, uh, well, his, no, nah, his prevents. So, is that, the, whatever. Anyways, um, just disables ultimate move gauge increase. Then, removes debuffs. Hills diminish HP of all allies, 30% removes debuffs. Hills 50% removes debuffs. So, she has a cleanse and then a heal and a heal with the cleanse on all of them. Her ultimate creates a barrier around all allies equal to um, 380% of attack and increases HP related stats of all allies by 25%. Her passive fills the hero's ultimate move gauge by one orb when the hero removes debuffs on allies. So, um, yeah, literally. Um, and then, like I said, she gives a buff to Grey Demon that um, allows them to, um, allows you to get an extra buff for, um, the cosmetic upgrade on hell as well so all of these characters that are coming out they give buffs to uh hell raids or the cosmetic drops on hell raids and then these three characters are just the n new year's characters but yeah so those are the six characters that are going to be coming out soon or whatever as far as what they just said um yeah, that's, that's pretty much it, I guess. So, anyways, that's going to be it for this video. Be sure to give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Comment down below. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. With that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.